Ah! That would be why this outlet <laughs> trips the breaker. That outlet's not tripping the breaker. If if the hot You're wire gonna... and the fucking if the hot wire was over here with the ground or the neutral, it would trip. Yeah, it would trip. But right. this this is this is this would work. Yeah. This does work. It is not NEC approved. No. No. But in a residential, you, you could plug something into that. It would work. Ten to one. It, it's a residential. Ten. Nine per ten. <laughs> nine <laughs> nine per ten because of the blue box, because of the residential box. Mm -hmm. But why? What's wrong with this, Marcus? Well, they attach their their uh, insulated neutral to the ground wire or the ground uh, lug on this receptacle, and they attach this ground wire, this bare copper ground wire, to where the neutral is supposed to go. There, this power is going to feed through <laughs> here, and the ground and the neutral go back to the same location. Um, so this 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 hot is going to feed through here when you plug something in. And it's going to feed back on that ground wire. And you're going to end up with voltage on this ground wire. I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised somebody found that. Like, it says, so it looks like somebody's troubleshooting. It looks like a lead on a tester of some sort. Um, that would be why this outlet trips the breaker. So I don't know... I don't know where that where that junction's in the box, but just looking at this, that I don't think it would trip the breaker, and it would work. And typically, when somebody's troubleshooting, they use they're using that. that uh, well, they're using their tester, which that plug they'll in. use the tester or the plug-in, right? Mm -hmm. And either way, if you go across the board, you're going to get one ten mm -hmm. from ground to neutral and neutral to, like neutral to hot, yeah. Oh yeah, from from ground to neutral, you're going to have nothing. Yep. And then neutral to hot, you're going to have 120. And then neutral to ground, you have 120 because those wires do go back to the same bond as it's a bonded system. Because um, you're bonding the neutral and the ground back at the service, so it's going to work, right? And then I've seen people do the trick right here. So when like an inspector comes through and plugs his plug-in tester, and he's like, open ground, right? That means there's no ground in there. And if you open that device... I've seen where there's no ground in the building, but I've seen people jump that ground from the neutral just so that it pass inspections. Not, not oh. NEC approved also. Definitely not NEC approved. Here's a, here's a tip for you. If you have a house and it's old and it's, all it's got is a neutral and a, and a hot, you can put a GFI receptacle in and that is NEC oh, yeah. approved. That is NEC approved. Um, at least it's, it's also approved by the city of Phoenix here. Or you just get the two, you know, you don't want the two prong outlets because almost everything you plug in has a ground wire. Mm -hmm. So you get the GFI receptacle to place it there and that, that covers your, that helps your protection. It keeps you from having to rewire your whole house. Right. But then you got GFIs everywhere. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, so that... They're not cheap, but it's cheaper than rewiring your whole house. Right. So um, you want the grounded conductor on the silver neutral or the silver, the grounded conductor or neutral on the silver terminal. And you want your grounding conductor or the bare copper ground wire on, you want it on the green. It's a pretty easy fix. But I don't think it's tripping the breaker. So Levi Neds. <clears throat> it is an interesting find though. Like yeah. who the fuck, like who the fuck did that? Like what fucking moron? Homeowner. Definitely not electrician. Yeah, homeowner. Right, probably. But typically the homeowners usually just put shit right back like... Like they found it? Yeah. Right, true. But how many times you get a call from your buddy like, or a picture, a text message from your buddy going, hey, uh, I got these wires hanging out of the ceiling. Which one goes to the fan and which one goes to the light? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to know, comment below. We'll tell you. Ooh. My most prized possession found so far on the job. Found under a transformer from the 1960s. Okay, Susan Wood. <laughs> Susan, Susan, Susan Woods. <laughs> What's Susan Woods doing in there? Was that like 60 years ago? <clears throat> I don't know why. Wait. Anytime I see a nudie mag, it reminds me of this time I'm going hunting with my buddy and uh, my dad. And we were... We were driving up the highway and we get a flat tire on the tray... Uh, uh, on the trailer, right? So I think we're, no, or I can't remember if it was a trailer or the truck. We got a flat tire, pull over, we're waiting for my old man to fix it. And on, while we're out there, we're just walking around and we find this old nudie mag, right? And like, so, I don't know how the nudie mag got out there, but somebody threw it out the window, apparently driving down the road. So, oh, you know, yeah. as, as kids, you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. 
Yeah. So like we tucked it under our shirt or whatever, we're right. looking at it and whatever. My dad catches us. He's like, what, what you got over there? And like, <laughs> and, and they were like, and we found it on the road. And this is, it's like a hustler or something. And it, and it was like this dude with the big, like this big old song. And my dad just started <laughs> laughing. He was like, <laughs> and then he just started laughing. I go, what's so funny? He goes, that poor guy. I go, what do you mean? He's like, he's just, his dick's just so small. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, why did you, why would that poor guy want to be embarrassed like that in front of everyone? <laughs> like, so, so. I don't know what it was, but it like stuck oh, in my, so stuck in my brain. That's like, hilarious. That oh. sounds like your dad. Yeah. <laughs> so like every time I see, <laughs> right. So it's like, whatever. Whatever. So now, 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 that's what I that's what I use now. Like if some if I catch somebody looking at him, right. it's like, poor guy. Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, that's a good find. The sprinkler guy washed my tools for me. Oh fuck. Oh, man. That one, sucks. Oh. That sucks. Look Gosh, at all that black yeah. shit out of there. <laughs> that's just an inconvenience, right? Like most of that shit's gonna come off. And wash off, but like your fucking notebook, your notebook destroyed. is fucking destroyed. Yeah. You're gonna have black soot. Like, who knows what's in those sprinkler pipes after fucking years of just sitting there? Like, I don't that's know. Nasty. Why is it? That's nasty. Why is that shit gotta be black inside there? Like, why can't it be like a water pipe, like a regular? Why does it always gotta be nasty inside the sprinkler pipes? Just stagnant water sitting in there <laughs> for years and years and years. Well. That it's sucks. Only, it's only there for a fire, so. I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed. Who's responsible for cleaning it up? Sprinkler guy or yeah. the electrician? <laughs> <laughs> Tangent alert. All right. The contractor doing my bathroom is telling me this outlet is a death trap, and he's worried the rest of my house is wired incorrectly. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Is this a death trap? It's you not an outlet. Slash always the rodent. Yeah, first of all, your contractor doesn't understand what he's looking at if he's calling this an outlet. So it's a switch, then they're using they're using a white white wire, right? It's definitely not it definitely wasn't good. It's it is it's not a death trap if it's a whole house. Like that's that's current we're talking about current uh, materials. It's yeah. yellow. Yeah. They didn't have yellow Romex years ago. Like every Romex back in the day was one color. Like they didn't have that shit before. Is there more is there more <clears throat> wires attached to that switch that we can't see down here? No, I don't think so. I think right. I think it's just, just using the, they have this neutral switching the neutral. They're, they're switching the neutral, and a lot of guys back in like I've it's I old, found it. old. Yeah, yeah. I found it before where people would switch to neutral, mm -hmm. or they would use the neutral wire as the switch leg, right? Like big like, up, uh, down on black, back, back, down on white, back, back on, on black. black. Yeah. You know, so it's like it's hard to say what they did there, but uh, if it's just a color miscommunication. I don't really like the ground pigtail. Like I don't like the way they've got the ground twisted, right? And it doesn't look like there's another wire nut in the box, so it definitely isn't, there's no neutral in there unless, unless the guy's right and he's got everything fucking tied to into one fucking wire nut. But that's not a yeah. death trap, it should trip your breakers. It's hard to say what's going on in this. But if they're running, if they're running the neutral on the switch, and I definitely don't like that. Don't Tell your like contractor that. to hire a licensed electrician, like Redline Electric and Solar. Like I'm a proponent of contractors. I love contracting, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I love like I love guys that know what they're doing, like know how to work with their hand. But like the general contractors, where I fuck, like there's a lot of them fuckers that don't. They know a little bit about this and that, like. I like contractors that have pride in their work. <clears throat> like that, that's, there's a stupid fucking TikTok going around, that meme going around that's like, a jack of all trades is a master of none. But a master of no, but what is a master? Of, or, what is the second part? Let's listen to it. A jack of all trades is a master of none, but oftentimes better than a master of one. Like this bullshit. You can only be a master of one trade. Like right. just because the the time that it takes to become a master is, you know, is 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 years. I guess you can become a master of pieces of different trades. Like I could become a master of putting in a receptacle. I feel like since we're 
like we could probably become a master of like plumbing pretty quickly because we're because we're, we're electricians smart. we're electricians yes. like we're a lot smarter than plumbers yeah you know what i mean like, yeah or drywallers or drywallers right i mean electricians are a different breed right, right when you think right. about it like a super technician <laughs> i think about electricians but like you can become a master at installing an outlet Right, like you could, but you don't know anything else about electricity. So, like, if you were a HVAC guy, you could become a master of putting in your HVAC and then running a 60 amp feed to right. your unit. But that doesn't mean that you know anything about anything else in the doesn't electric. Make you an so electrician. that fucking the saying is a master. Like the real saying should be a jack of all trades is a master of none. And I don't give a fuck how nice she sounds when she's saying the rest of it or <laughs> right. she looks because I haven't seen her. But like. It's, sounds like it's, bullshit. It's bullshit. It's like everybody's got to try to come up with some bullshit. So general contractor, he's like, this is a death trap. He doesn't know what the fuck he's looking at. One, he's not an electrician. Just because he's a general contractor, general contractor only gives him the right to sub hire professional electricians. Right. Master electricians and right, like it doesn't give him the right to do else, all yeah. of the work himself. I think that saying was like the rest. The second part of that saying was made by like a handyman, bro. Yeah. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. And in our state, you can't you can't do anything under the handyman clause over a thousand dollars. Yeah, and that's true. Handyman, there are handymen out there that can come in and fucking fix a change a receptacle this out, or that. install yep. a ceiling fan, like some of those things, like. I don't know. But you're going to end up with that la that picture that we saw right but before this with the neutral this, on the ground and the ground on the neutral. This ground. could be totally fine. I mean, I would do it differently. I would clean that fucking connection up. It's, I, but I definitely wouldn't say it's a death trap. But, you know, a lot of people like to sell by fear also. Like, that's true. You that's and, true. and that's something you'll never yeah. get from us. That's bullshit. Like, definitely that's not from us. It's like, you, dude, you better you got aluminum wiring. You better get us in here to fucking copper pigtail everything or it's going to burn down tonight. Mm -hmm. You're lucky you lasted this long. <laughs> I'm actually afraid to be sitting at your dining room, dining room table because <laughs> right. this thing could go up at any time. That sounds like Can we have the rest of this conversation out by my truck? That sounds like Chuck. <laughs> that sounds like Chuck in the truck. Yeah, that's uh, some Chuck in the truck bullshit. Yeah. It's like, that's... It's trash. It's like, don't get... That's like, insurance is always like that. Fucking uh, ADT, you know, alarms is like, Dude, if you don't put like this in, you guys could die in yeah. the middle of the night. The doctors. Everybody Fuck. sells on All right, moving on. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Things to make you go, hmm. RK Elect. Where's that fuse going to go? <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, that took me a second. Yeah, it did. I it took me. I was like, "What are we?" So, I started here. I looked at all this up here, this and then I was really like, fun, "All right." Fun. Oh, oh. Hey, this is Josh Redline Electric and Solar. Yeah, I need to put a. I need to put a. A disconnect on will call. Yeah. <laughs> no, Nemo. Nemo one is fine. Three phase. No, I don't need a neutral. Fusible. I mean, non-fuse. Non-fuse. Oh, you don't have fuse, non-fused? Okay. Um, what about, just give me some lugs. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll make, I'll make my own non-fuse. You have half, Yeah, half no problem. I'll pick it up in half an hour. All right, thanks. Siemens. So we got a Siemens three pole. Looks like a 60 amp uh, disconnect. Maybe, yeah, 60 amp disconnect. Um, mm -hmm. He didn't need fuses. So he pulled mm -hmm. out the fuse mm -hmm. and put in the lugs. Just bypass the fuses. But that is something that makes you go, hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. That's, that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> I wonder okay. how much the fuses would have been compared to the lugs. You'd probably save a little bit of money, but like, what's the, why? Why? Right. But now you just busted the UL like listing on this, on mm -hmm. this particular unit, right? Yep. I think. No, yeah. You had to have. I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure it's going to be fine and nothing will ever fucking happen. Right, right. But the UL laboratory stickers right there, like, the minute you start taking pieces out and, and using it the as the manufacturer didn't intend, yep. you're outside of your label. Do you think this had fuses? You know, No, he, that, it's not, he, it hasn't even been installed. He, yeah, it's brand new. He could pull these out and probably no one would ever know. Pull out those bo the bottom row, nobody would ever know. Oh, yeah, just take that whole block just out? Just take the whole block out. Not to say that that's okay. That's not a, still not okay and not how the manufacturer intended it. <clears throat> but he could. I, I would never know. One, he 
probably should have just pulled these fucking lugs and used them up there. Honestly, it's probably the same cabinet as the other one. It looks like the same. A, it's the same. Non-fused. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Things that make you go, hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Fuses are on back order? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving oh, on. Oh, totally NEC approved. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Doing some work in an existing panel needed to make it safe-ish before leaving for the day. I love it. I love it, J U J U U J thyroid, whatever. Like, <laughs> I would have just put the whole fucking cover back on. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I like it. I like it. It's it's good. As long as nobody's actually gonna be anywhere near there. I take it back. I thought this was something different. Like, I, I, I thought it was like the, some of those panels, they have a cover. They have a plastic shield between the main lugs. Once you take oh, the yeah. dead front, like, yeah, yeah. like, so I was like, in my mind, like we just, I just changed out the service at my house, the 200 amp all in one outside. When you take the cover and the dead front off, there is a plastic, you know, a fiberglass shield yeah. yep. that covers the main, the main it's coming in from the utility. I thought maybe that's what he was trying to accomplish here, mm -hmm. and put then put the panel over on so it'd be oh. like an open spot oh, that he right, covered right, right. with. But no, this is a fucking, this is just a load, a three phase load center that's flush mount. And he should have put the panel cover back up. Are you saying that it took him longer to make this than it, it would have, have to, put to just put the cover panel back cover back on? back on? Yeah. Facts. So maybe, maybe thyroid. Maybe he came to this job and they're like, we don't know what happened to the panel cover. Yeah, that's that could be. Or maybe this screw was busted off in the hole, and he's like, I don't know how. I don't know how to fix that. You know. But hey, we use cardboard for everything, mm -hmm. and like, like we're always. Using cardboard to Cutting keep and to protect and, the the, the yeah. bus from from shavings, from when we're drilling into the panel, from yeah. when we're pulling wires. We're using cardboard to protect us from everything. everything so yeah. I would say that this gets the stamp of approval for temporary site work. Safe pending, pending it's approval. Safe fish. I like it. Safe fish. Okay, about sums it up. Carpenter, electrician, plumber, landlord. <laughs> <laughs> we we have levels we we know but like, this is this is bullshit yeah. look at your little ass drill like you're a motherfucker cutting carpenter cutting some wood using his <laughs> drill i'll tell you it doesn't look like a magnetic tip definitely electricians are smart enough to use that you want to you want to take a couple weeks and just become a master carpenter over there hang oh, tight oh. hang tight Done. Done. It's good. Done. <laughs> Done. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Hey, hey, give me those number 12 inch nails. Number 12 nails. Anybody see my miter? I know I got uh, legs. I know I got a level around here somewhere. <laughs> Yeehaw! Isn't that how it goes? Like uh, carpenter straight in. Like first of all, uh, this is, this was made by a handyman or some fucking dude. I, like what kind of drill is that? Jesus was a carpenter, but today he would have been an electrician. He had to do something. I like how, oh dude, is that Pullman one running backwards? So yes. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's almost correct. Carpenter, straight and in. Electrician, crooked, but in. Yeah. Plumbers running backwards on this, not going in, and then landlords like not even on there. See you next time. Peace.